They've been telling me that this is one of their favorite maps for CTF. Yeah, absolutely, Vaughn. Uh, this map is pretty much damn good for everything. <laughs> I mean, it really is. I'm so pumped to get my hands on Black Ops 2 even more and uh, play Cargo. I mean, it's always the, you know, just, just the map I love to play every time I'm playing the game. So off the break, we'll take a look, see where the players are headed. Looks like uh, two, two and two over towards the office side and uh, a little bit more on the right side there. But we'll jump on board with Gunchy. He's going to try and get this office control, which is pretty crucial. We're going to see some stuff tonight in Capture the Flag that you don't normally see. The competition players put a respawn timer in on Capture the Flag. Why is that, Astro? Well, you know, you always want to make sure that uh, you're not getting cut off immediately when you pull a flag by somebody spawning with no respawn timer. You know, th and that's essentially the same thing in public games, you actually. You get, uh, you still get a respawn timer and you have a wave spawn delay, but we actually disable the wave spawn delay so that you don't have that 10, 15 second you know, spawn on, on, in CTF. You know, back at the ranch, we've been playing this the same way the competition guys play it. Turned off the wave respawn timer, have it on a straight 7.5 spawn timer, and we really like it that way, and that's one of the great things. We can actually change this up. We'll get feedback from what the community is really liking, and we'll set it up that way. This is pretty close to how we have it in the public game right now. We'll see what happens. Got a couple of months to ship, but we really like to play it this way too. Now, one big thing that we did we need to talk about is the uh, carryover score yeah. that you can actually take the combined score of the rounds now, and it's not, you know, it's, it automatically kind of carries it over for us. And it looks like we do have a flagpole though, Vaughn. We need to kind of jump on board. Both flags are out. One goes down right here, and let's see who has those flags. Looks like Big Timer is holding it for the North Americans. They still have control of it. And let's no, see if they can get on the board. It just goes down. And now as we swap around, the North Americans actually lose control of that flag. And they almost had that one get to get going, but they just couldn't make it happen. And let's take a look here at the overhead yet again. We see Toby hanging around the middle of the map here. And now Vaughn, Toby's going to kind of make a move through this office building. It's still kind of a fight for middle map control. And you see that in most CTF maps, but we did see the flags get pulled, so that's a great promising thing here for Cargo. The pros said they love playing it, and that's why we have it here. And look, we see a care package come down right there, it looks like. I'm always super impressed by how these super competitive players position themselves around the map to just control the map at all times. There's no, everything they've got going on, it seems like it's so well rehearsed and so well practiced. We all can learn something right now. Absolutely, and Big Timer has pulled the flag for the North Americans, and Nice has pulled it for the Europeans. Let's go into a listen and, and listen to what the players are saying on the North American side. 20 seconds left to go. Nikki's weak on flag, weak on flag. Bonnie, the flag is one shot, guys. One shot. Nice. Hold that, hold that, hold that. I'm with you, I'm with you. Oh, I, I, yo. They're shocked over in our spawn, in our spawn or something. Don't let them get re, don't let them get re. We're good, we're good, we're good. All right, good work. Dude, that, that was like really quick. Ran. How so short it was. Right there at the end of the round. We just, it was bad. just kind of so close, both teams pulling the flag. So we've seen a couple stalemates. Both flags being pulled out of the base, nobody can cap. That's going to happen at this highest competitive level. These are some very evenly skilled matches. Things are going to go, a single flag cap can be the difference between night and day. Yep, and here we go. Round two of two here. As you see up in the score panel at the top of your screen, we're playing a three minute round and you're gonna see a shock charge come out of Karma immediately, but the Europeans counter right over the crate and it was Gunshi taking out Karma right there oh, and Toby. Two piece. What a play there by Gunshi. He actually did, did a great job. And uh, let's go ahead and swap back over as the Europeans got an early pull and Nice is moving that flag. We're on board with him. And we take a look here in third person. He's making a move with that flag. Nobody really around him for the North Americans, but wait a second, there is one player, and we'll stay on board with Nice, who picks up that kill on Merc right there. And now he gets cleaned oh, no. up from behind by Karma. Let's swap on board with Karma and see what he's gonna do. Karma, Karma just, gets the return. He gets that return, right? Yeah. So Karma gets that return, Vaughn, and now we're still at 0-0, zero, zero, so uh, tell me a little bit about the skill of these players. I've never met anybody as highly skilled as these players. I really like the relays that there's the attempt to go on, the cutoffs that you see. These guys know exactly when the other team is going to spawn. They know exactly where they're going to be so they can put them in a chokehold. And you're going to see one second difference between capping and not capping in this game mode. Yeah, and now we see Merc being so sneaky right here. Picking up that first kill there on Gunshi. Now he's going to make moves. 
the Europeans do have the flag pulled, and now it's up to Merck to get around here. He does pick up one more player, but there's somebody waiting for him. It was Swanee, and where is that flag right now? Oh, the Europeans almost have it. Oh, he's got it's some gonna good It's going to be protectors. Raiden, and we're on board with Raiden. He still here has comes the flag, flag cap right there. there. Oh, go. man, the dive to prone for the flag cap. And now Raiden immediately calling in a lightning strike as well, and that lightning strike picking up a kill there on Merck and Big Timer, and now we see that the Europeans have four down, and the Europeans are taking control now, Vaughn. One minute left to go. We're gonna have to swap over to the North American side and listen in again and see if they can actually come back into this one. I'm just gonna let it ride and so everybody out there can listen in and see how these North Americans try and pick it back up. Yeah, he's somewhere there, Big. What do you think about the cover? Uh, it's a job. We have 45 seconds, yes, we have one or two more. We can do it. Um, this one, I smoked it. Ah, uh, they're on their flight. They had our flight. No, there's three down, there's three down, there's three down. I didn't hear that flight, I didn't see that. Well, there you have it. That's another flag cap right there. I am so fascinated by this game, I'm forgetting that we're supposed to be casting sometimes. No, oh, no. Well, I was just listening in. You know, I wanted to make sure that we we got into that emotion of the North Americans as they're trying to come back and cap that flag. Yeah, well, it's you know what? Now. Yeah, it's the, over now. The Europeans have woken up from their slumber yeah. and take a 2 nothing victory over the North Americans here. And that's going to be all she wrote. As we take a look at the scoreboard here, you see nice... Swanee and Raiden all going massive for the Europeans. Yeah, you caught it early on.